Would you like to know how to master speaking to increase your sales? Just imagine you're standing in front of a captivated audience, every word you speak, drawing them closer, their eyes wide with interest and excitement, and you see the realization dawn on their faces. They want what you're offering. Would that be valuable to you? How would that affect your business and your sales figures? The cool thing about it is that this level of mastery of speaking doesn't just boost your sales, it elevates your entire business, making you a sought after authority. And if you would like to know these speaking secrets, then stay tuned for this episode as we share our best ninja speaking secrets for success. This is Momentum Maker Podcast, and I am Awesome Angie Ingstrom, honoring the awesomeness in you. And I'm Gira Akar. Now, whether you're speaking on stage or you're hosting a live virtual event, the key to success isn't just what you say, it's how you say it. Now, speaking effectively is such a powerful tool for anyone, especially for coaches, courses, creators, and entrepreneurs like you. Because when you master the art of speaking, you will be able to influence, persuade, and even inspire your audience to take action. And speaking is about a lot more than just sharing information. So don't focus solely on the content you'll be delivering. You know, great content, it's it's super important, but your delivery, the way you speak and the way you connect with your audience, that is what truly makes the difference. So connecting with your audience being the key word here, because in this episode, we will be honing in on the skill of creating engagement with your audience while you're speaking. Yes. So today we are focusing on how to connect with your audience by creating engagement when you're speaking. And it's about creating an experience that captivates your audience from the very first word to the last. And when you can do that, you won't only engage your listeners, you will also drive more sales. Because no matter how valuable your message is, if you don't capture and maintain their attention, the impact, the sales will just slip away. And it reminds me of an event I attended and the speaker was someone I was really excited to hear from. And the room was packed. Everyone was excited to hear him speak. Have you ever been to a super pumped up event? You know, you're, you're, you were so excited to go and attend and you just couldn't wait for it to start. And this was one of those events for me. And then the speaker began his presentation, which turned out to be a lot, like really a lot of PowerPoints and jammed with detailed information. And he just started going through these PowerPoints one by one, no engagement, no connection, like didn't even stop for a breath pretty much. And there was just no audience interaction. And have you ever listened to a speaker like that? Like it's just, it can get really boring and it's hard to focus and, you know, so what happened in the room was that the energy dropped. You know, you don't want that to happen as a speaker. <laughs> People were starting to check their phones, you know, some of them even getting up to leave, you know, despite the valuable content that he was providing. Mm, great example. Thanks for sharing, Angie. Because, you know, this, this example sort of really illustrates how crucial it is to keep up engagement when you're speaking. Other way, otherwise, people are going to lose interest. So it's a perfect example to show that even the most knowledgeable person can lose their audience if they don't engage them from the start. Because when you're speaking, it's all about making your audience feel involved and connected. And today, we'll be sharing the three most awesome ninja tips for keeping up engagement when you're speaking, whether it's a virtual or an in-person event. So let's go. Yes, keeping up the engagement. And you just said something, Gidi, like from the very beginning, like this is something you want to, as soon as you start speaking um, from the very beginning. So our first tip it, for keeping the engagement up is getting people to respond during your speak and then just during your speech and then keep them responding throughout your speech. And like, again, like what Gidi said is from the very beginning of your speech. <laughs> and, and don't just create that engagement just a couple of times and think you're doing that, but um, you've got to do it constantly. Engagement is a constant maneuver. And, you know, just all the time while you're speaking from the beginning to the end. So if it's a live event, um, it, 
it could be by asking questions to to your audience. Um, if even if it's a virtual event, you can also engage them in the chat. Um, do Q and A sessions. There's lots of ways to do direct engagement. Um, and you could even consider using interactive phrases like, you know, show of hands or um, who here has faced this challenge? Um, show your hand up. Um, does anyone relate to this? Like phrases like that. Um, by inviting your audience to physically or verbally respond, and, you know, that the whole phrase of just show, you know, by a show of hands, um, that just that one little, it's a, some part of engagement, like getting them moving physically, verbally, get them to respond. You're keeping them active in your presentation. And when your audience is engaged this way, they're more likely to stay focused and absorb what you're saying. It's not just a presentation anymore. It's a conversation. Your focus needs to be on making it interactive and getting them to respond, even if it's a nod. Uh, because that will create the engagement you need to grab the audience's attention and to keep them engaged, you know, for good. You know, it's just focus on engagement. Just don't lose focus of engagement. It's really easy when you're talking to just kind of forget, you know, <laughs> and then the engage, you know, it's like, oh, wait a minute. I needed a nod or hold a hand up or something. Go ahead, Giddy. <laughs> Yeah, so powerful. So great, Angie. Okay, so the first tip for keeping up engagement, it's getting people to respond while you're speaking, just like Angie just said. And then you 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 got to keep them responding throughout your speech, just like Angie said. <laughs> so great, Angie. Thank you. And a second tip is focusing on them, not on you. So you need to shift your focus away from yourself and instead you need to focus on your audience. This means that you, you don't want to be talking a lot about yourself. You want to be focused on your audience. You need to be focusing on, on how they feel, what they want, because it is not about you. I'm going to say this once again because it's, it's really, really important. It's not about you. It's all about your audience. And when you focus on your audience's experiences, the challenges they face and their goals, you know, they will feel seen, they will feel understood by you. Because, like, have, have you ever tried talking to somebody who is constantly talking about themselves? I know I have. You know, they're talking about their own problems, what they have experienced, and they're not really asking you any questions not engaging you in the conversation and also become sort of one-sided. Have you ever had a conversation like that? And just think about it. How did that make you feel? Did it make you feel inclined to continue that conversation for a long time and just keep talking? Or were you sort of starting to perhaps zone out while thinking about possible options to cut the conversation a little shorter? Exactly. And that's what your audience will feel like if you focus on yourself and not on them while you're speaking. So remember, you need to keep up that engagement while you're speaking. So our first two tips for keeping up engagement are number one, getting people to respond in some way during your speech and then keep them responding throughout your speech. And number two, focusing on them, not you. So repeat after me. It's not about, it's not about you. <laughs> it's about your audience. That's another phrase you could throw out. I have people, you know, repeat what you're, what you said, raise a hand. There's all sorts of fun little tips and tricks. Um, but our last tip here today, this is a pro tip for those of you that are seasoned, um, seasoned speakers, that is. It's starting your speech with a universal question to create engagement right from the start. Do you remember how I started this episode today by saying, would you like to know how to master speaking to increase sales? It's a universal question. Um, it makes the audience say a resounding yes, right from the very beginning of your speech. Questions are powerful. Um, and by doing that, you're creating a connection with the audience and hooking them into your message. Universal questions are a very powerful tool to get your audience mentally engaged from the very first moment, in a, and it's a great way to keep up the engagement. 
true. Okay, so let's sum up our three ninja tips for keeping up engagement while speaking. Number one, getting people to respond during your speech and then keeping them responding throughout your speech. Keeping up that engagement, you need to keep your audience talking back to you, making them active participants, asking them questions, uh, asking them to, to buy a show of hands or whatever. Number two is focusing on them, not you. So you need to make them feel seen and understood. It's all about them. And number three is starting your speech with some kind of universal question to get your audience to say yes because thereby you're hooking them right from the start. And by applying these three engagement strategies, you will not only increase engagement, but you will also accelerate your sales numbers. And if you want even more ninja speaking tips, we've got a few other podcast episodes um, that you can listen to. For example, number 65, the power persuasion, persuasive power for maximum impact. And there's also episode number 55, called Secrets to Speaking Success. So thanks for listening. Keep your momentum, keep moving forward. And if you happen to be a coach or a course creator spending too much time selling one-on-one -on -one, and you're ready to condense time and sell one to many, then open up a tab on your browser and go to elitevirtualstages.com forward slash blueprint and learn how you can turn your expertise into a six or even seven figure day using live transformational virtual masterclasses.